Hey, what's up guys? We're using Face Spackle today, Ariana and Evans, and it doesn't show on the label, but I'm pretty sure that this is Barbershop. Um, there's two, there's like an unscented and then there's a Barbershop. Um, <laughs> I bowl lathered this a couple of days ago, and so I took two scoops out of there, but we're gonna face lather today. Uh, for the razor, we'll go with the straight today. This is the Tulchamar straight. Um, and as far as my notes go, as far as the edge on this, it is the Arkansas edge. Um, Maggard's 28 millimeter super high density badger knot. And we have um, PAA's cube. It's a uh, cube 2.0. Hope everybody's been having a good week. Extremely busy here. <laughs> um, I'm hoping in the next like I don't know, two to three weeks, there's been so many revisions taking place on the logo because we wanted a specific way, and I don't know that if it's our fault or what if we didn't portray it correctly the first time when we were meeting, but with the with the graphic designer, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's getting to where we where we needed to get. It's just. Taking some time. I don't think the box design is going to take that long. We're not even at that point yet. But anyways, it's just, you know, anything with a company costs more, takes more time. What's the saying? Like it's always takes us twice as long and it's four times the amount that you initially thought. I mean, that's not the case at the moment anyway, as far as the amount. But um, the time has definitely just taken a lot longer than we initially thought. But anyway, it's okay. I actually did something for the first time tonight uh, before I turned on the camera. I actually used the cube um, and basically like washed my face with the cube. I don't know if that does anything or not, but like I put it on, kind of scrubbed really well, and then I um, uh, washed it off. So, all right. And the cube is definitely making my eyes water. All right, let's make sure we, I don't have enough freaking room on this counter down here. And you'll see that whenever I, <laughs> it's gonna happen whenever I release the, uh, what you call it? All right, the den tour. Hope everybody's had a good week. Um, Hope you guys are healthy and, you know, the huge, the usual. Hope everybody's feeling good. And hope you all have a great weekend. It's, uh, as I'm recording this, it's Friday night. I probably won't get it uploaded until Saturday at some point, but it will get uploaded. I'm just going to put water directly into this brush and scrub. We're pretty hydrated, so we're probably good. Yeah, this is the, um, I guess the, I don't want to say cheaper. It is cheaper, but, you know, the, the, not as many ingredients, um, little less expensive line from Ariana and Evans slash the club. Yeah, we're good. Um, I don't know, I know initially Peter mentioned like maybe selling this stuff on Amazon or something, you know, this space spackle line, um, but I don't think it's there yet. Uh, maybe it's not selling well enough for him to do, I, I don't know, I really don't know, but anyway, all right. I haven't looked at this edge, maybe I should have done that before I planned on shaving, but Whatever, I haven't looked at the edge and um, I haven't dropped it, but uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, we're working with, I think, two and a half days of growth.
toast, anyone? I got the knife and the butter. I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up, but definitely a lot of stubble in there. <clears throat> yeah, this razor is very, uh, uh, very vocal, you know, it likes to sing quite a bit, so. You know, a couple spots here and there as far as uh, bumps and whatnot, so. Expect a little, little catch up here and there. But this razor is doing very good. It's just, you know, the, the sound is really what, what kind of gets me. Um, and I know some of, some of you guys don't actually use straight razors. So, <laughs> that sound may not, I don't know how it registers for you. It may not sound like it's doing well or cutting good or whatever, but it's actually doing fairly, fairly good. This was one of the spots that I knew would open up. Um, it's actually pretty good. Uh, this razor definitely doesn't have the same kind of, um, I don't know what to call it, the same kind of like push, the same kind of torque as the, uh, some of my other razors in in that I don't know it's an extra hollow it's doesn't have a lot of booty behind the um the edge and so therefore I don't know my beard just and CDB and I were kind of talking about that in one of his videos well he talked about it and I commented and we kind of went back and forth he was saying the grind it doesn't really matter. Well, I don't know, man. For me, the grind definitely matters. You know? Having, having a lot of um, thick metal behind the actual blade as opposed to it being just extra hollow. Like, for instance... You know, I mean, it's thin from about, I don't know, maybe a third up. And then the second, the, the other two thirds are, you know, hollow, basically. So there's not a lot of, I don't know, it's hard for it to, um, this is my theory, of course. It's hard for it to keep up.
And yeah, does it cut? Absolutely. And does it work well? Yeah. I mean, it works. It works good. I mean, obviously, you know, look, but I notice a difference when I'm shaving. You know? My face feels the difference. Um, my, my hands know the difference as I'm pulling through, like how much force I'm actually having to use. With the wedges, I don't have to use very much force at all. Like this part right here, where I'm going against the grain this way. This is my, my beard hair, my most coarse part of the entire face. And the hair grows that way. Just, just like in this chin strap area, I've said it before. This chin strap area all grows the exact same way this way. And so me coming this way, I'm going against the grain. And when I'm using a, uh, a wedge or, or a half wedge, whatever, I notice a difference. Like it plows through that stuff as opposed to me like forcing this to go through. Same freaking edge. Same edge. And I test every one of my edges before I shave or send them out with hair. And it's the same exact hair. So I make sure that they're all equal before, I mean, just, just to have like a standardized edge across, you know, across all of my razors, right? So the only outlier is the grind. So again, my theory, I'm sure not everybody agrees with that, but that's my experience. But yeah, it's just like soaps and everything else, you know. Razors, edges, you know, which DE blade you like, everything is just so subjective, truly. It has to do with our past experiences, our, our scent, for like things we like as far as scent. Um, you know, what kind of beard hair we have, I mean, a lot of stuff. And if you have like really thin, wispy beard, like, like, yeah, any edge is going to work for you. Yeah, absolutely. I would agree. As long as it's sharp enough to cut hair, any edge will work. No doubt. Yeah, this is, um, the scent on, on this is not, I've said it in every video I've used it. It's not, uh, I don't know if it's the base that makes it kind of strange or, or what, but it's just, for this to be labeled as the barbershop scent, to me, I get nothing of barbershop, but, and I get very little, like, I don't know. It's it's kind of hard for me to describe, to be quite honest. The scent on this, it's not like it's not hor It's not off-putting. It's just, for lack of a better word, it's just strange. 
Like, it's not a bad strange, but it's not like, oh, wow, that's really good strange either. So, take, take that for... whatever it's worth, but... Oh, and then I saw, um, popped on YouTube yesterday and saw that I had a recommendation. Um, and it was, uh, it was the stallion talking about, um, some kind of like, He's in a beef right now with uh, some other wet shaven dude that like takes their stones and like, what, what, what does he do? He, he like rounds the stones. So like instead of having them flat, like most people home, he like does kind of like a rounding thing to him. I, I've never used it. I can't say one way or the other, whether it works or not, but apparently there was a big beef there for whatever reason. I think Anthony felt like this other guy was ragging on his edges or something. I don't know, man. I don't get into the YouTube drama. I have my own, especially the white shaving YouTube drama. I have my own uh, life to live without worrying about that kind of crap. But it was just funny, you know, getting the, getting the guy. I don't want to, you know, I, I don't mind saying Anthony's name because Anthony and I talk. But um, I don't really know the other guy. Never spoken to the other guy. So, like, I'm not trying to drag anyone's name through the mud because I I use flat stones. Flat stones work perfectly fine for me. I've never used a, well, I don't even remember what, what it's called, but kind of like a rounded stone, something like that. I've never used it, so maybe it works really good. I don't know, but Anthony did not like, did not like it for some reason. So it's just, it was just a, uh, an entertaining video for me. I need to go get this mop cut this weekend. The lady I go to is open tomorrow, so <clears throat> I might go tomorrow. Just depends on what's going on. All right, what are we going to do here? Let's go away. Oh, apparently I got something wrong last shave. I, um, and it's not a big deal. He didn't, I mean, he just kind of corrected me. It wasn't like it was a huge thing, but I want to make it right. Uh, Tim from Tim Shaves, um, it was either in the last video or the video before, but I, I mentioned, um, Nasset. And I think I said Tim said he did not like Nassets, yet that's Tim's favorite blade. He corrected me and told me, so sorry, Tim. <laughs> I knew you said something about Nassets, and it was the opposite that I thought, so. Uh oh.
the baby is uh well he's been kind of crawling but like kind of like army crawling where he'll like lay down and basically pull himself like this and like he'll kick his feet not kick his feet but like plant his toes in and push himself he's been doing that for some time and um at this point we think you know before he literally like does the actual crawl on his knees um, we're thinking he's gonna walk because he's he's already sitting up by himself and um, he's pulled up several times in his crib. I've had to lower it. I've had to lower his crib that he sleeps in. Um, three times. Two? Three times in the past month and a half because he started crawling and so he started rolling over, you know, and then he started. Um, like pulling himself so he could pull himself to the edge so I had to lift it again and then or, or lower the bed and then the railing goes up obviously and then now he is sitting up like sitting up and pulling himself up so I had to lower it again because if he stands up which he, he has done a couple of times like pull himself up and stand up it's uh you know it's bad news bears because how the crib was before he could easily like if he stood up half of his body was like over the, the actual ledge so with it lowered it's like the top bar is like here on him so he can't he can't jump out even if he wanted to but yeah he's uh i mean he's everything's on track as far as you know like what they call it, milestones baby milestones everything's going well some babies do crawl or walk before they crawl which is kind of crazy to me but we're going against the growth on the chin strap area here I don't know if you guys watch UFC or not. I don't think many of you do, but um, this past weekend they had a fight. Well, they had a bunch of fights, but one specific fight. And if you're into like some crazy, like broken bone type things, look up um, Chris Weidman. Obviously, not to spell Chris and then Weidman. W e i d m a n Weidman. And then Uriah Hall, um, U-R-I-A-H-H-A-L-L, -L, Uriah Hall. Those two dudes fought. And I think within like the first six to seven seconds of the very first round, Chris Weidman threw a kick to Uriah Hall's leg. Uriah Hall checked it, meaning that he turned his shin out. And so Chris Weidman kicked his shin. So it was basically like shin on shin. And uh, his leg completely snapped. Like, um, I mean, that's as graphic as I'll go. I mean, I guess what I can say is like, there's no blood. There's no bone sticking out of anywhere. Like you can't see bone. But when I say his leg snapped, like pick picture like a pretzel stick in like a casing and you break the pretzel stick like the casing's holding everything but it's two peat yeah so if you're interested in that i watched it live so <laughs> it was it was absolutely nuts but he's okay he's posted many videos since the incident and um they've um they've reattached and everything and so just a crazy crazy freak incident and and what's even more crazy and like i feel we're talking about it because like i don't think many people here watch you know any fighting 
type things, Bellator or One or UFC, but anyway, I'll talk about it regardless. Um, let me rinse off really quick. What's crazy is several years ago, Chris Weidman fought someone called Anderson Silva. And Anderson Silva, in that fight, kicked Chris Weidman. Chris Weidman checked it with his shin, and Anderson Silva's leg snapped. I don't think it was the exact same spot, but, I mean, we're talking, you know, within, you know, half a foot. You know, six to eight inches of the same spot. So, and that's only happened twice in UFC history. So, it's happened both times with Chris Weidman. <laughs> Like I said, just like a freak, a freak accident. He was fine. I mean, as fine as you could be with, you know, Gumby legs. It was so bad. Like, it, like, oh, man, watching it, like, um, watching it in person was just, oh man, oh man. He goes a kick. It the kick lands. He, like, what's, what made it worse was he kicked, he landed. You could tell he knew something was going on. Because, like, he kicked, it landed, he brought his hip back to step, you know, to, to plant his leg. And when he planted his leg, I mean, obviously, it's in two different pieces, right? So when his foot hit the ground, this piece wasn't connected to this piece. And so when his foot hit the ground, it was like one thing went this way, one thing went that way. That was, for me, that was worse than the actual break. Watching him like kick, fall, like go back like that to try to land on the foot. And then the foot just kind of like gumbying out behind, like from under, man. Mm. But like I said, he's, it's, they've already gone in and put some steel rods. He's in a cast. He's back home. I think he went back home yesterday or the day before. Yeah, I think it was Thursday. Yesterday. So, yeah. Freak stuff happened, man. Freak stuff. Oh. A lot of good fights on this past weekend's card. This weekend is... Mm, it's okay. It's not one of the big UFC events. It's just one of the one of the smaller ones. But, Anyways, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it got a little gruesome here at the end, but... Eh, whatever. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next year.